Hey, hey guys. So a few weeks ago I did a Facebook Live and I was talking about um, how I lost uh, about 20 pounds in a year without changing anything about my nutrition, certainly not changing my workout regimen. And it was all about how I just dialed into managing my stress. And I really do believe I have gotten that under control. I have a solid routine that I put in practice every day to help me cope. And, but it didn't stop there, and I wanted to share the next level. Okay, so once I felt like, you know what, I got my stress under control, how am I gonna maintain this level of exuberance and just energy that I feel so incredible, and I wanna make sure that I can sustain it no matter what comes my way. So the next thing that I totally have focused all of my attention and energy to not just personally but with my coaching clients is sleep and it's it's the foundation right you got to manage your stress but it goes hand in hand with how well you're sleeping because if you're not sleeping well your body is in a stress state so lots of amazing things that I've learned on my journey on how to sleep better I want to share one quick tip with you I'm actually out at a very peaceful spa I felt like this was a perfect place to talk about this and here's a tip maybe you've heard it before but I don't know I just want to drill it in again about an hour or so before bed you've got to shut down the electronics this was like the hardest thing for me to do because I literally slept next to my phone I used it as my alarm clock and what I learned was the not just the blue light that all of our electronics emit that's not good for us okay blue light is actually stimulating our cortisol levels it actually ignites our early morning flame and so it gives the body the wrong message that it's hey it's wake up time at night we should be dimming out we should have more yellow and red hues of light coming in and that helps our body stimulate serotonin and melatonin and our sleepy time hormones to keep us on our good sleep rhythm known as our circadia rhythm so I struggled with this big time and I was like yeah blue light schmoo light whatever and I kind of ignored it for a while but what I didn't realize and this is what impacted me was that even when your phone and your electronics your laptop are turned off they emit frequencies that actually disrupt our REM sleep okay our bodies are very magnetic and we pick up different frequencies and different energies even when we're sleeping and so if we're picking up these abnormal frequencies or energies it can actually disrupt those nice deep sleep cycles that we need in order to wake up feeling super refreshed and recharged because it's not necessarily about the length of time you sleep which I was getting like seven hours of sleep but I didn't always wake up feeling supercharged and I was like, well, I'm sleeping a long time, but I was disrupting my deep sleep cycles to which you want to get like six to eight of those. And it was because I had all my electronics laying around me. So I finally ditched. I was like, you know what? My phone stays in my room, but it's, it's eight feet away from me. Everything else is shut down, tucked away, out of sight, out of the room. And my one last challenge is to get rid of my TV. I'm holding on to it. I don't know if I can do it. Maybe we need to do a challenge together on that. Uh, so hopefully that helps you maybe start tonight. Just like shut it down, power it down an hour before bed, turn everything off, maybe grab a book. Imagine that, like a good novel. Um, and comment below, let me know how you did. I'd love to hear. All right, much love, peace out.